Hi guys, today we're going to be trying out a bunch of Jeffree Star cosmetics. Um, I will be using a couple of other products just because he hasn't added them to the collection yet. Um, but I am also going to be using a bunch of Jeffree Star approved products. Um, and let's see what you guys think. I have a few friends that showed up. So, first thing we're going to be using is the color correcting um, concealer in the green by Jeffree Star that helps take away any redness um, from my zits or pimples a little of this product goes a long way comes in a really cute container so we're just gonna dab those little spots see if we can get them to go away so I am going to be using one of Jeffree Star's collabs with Morphe, his little blending buds. Goodbye, redness. Okay, we're going to let that do its thing for a minute. Now, my forehead has been really dry. I'm not going to use this product anywhere but my forehead. But Jeffree Star um, swears by Bobbi Brown's um, Vitamin Rich Face Base. So since my forehead is so dry from winter, I'm going to use just a dash of this on my forehead to try to make it so I don't look all flaky because that has been a real problem. So we're gonna just go ahead and let that soak in. And next I'm gonna be using my Zio sunscreen and primer. This does have a little bit of a tint to it. Um, and I love that it protects you all day. So they do say this is a primer. You could just use this for your makeup. But of course, I want more than just this because I want a really flawless finish using Jeffree's makeup. Okay. So since Jeffree doesn't have any primer yet, I'm going to go with um, Unique Touch Um primer so we're going to be really generous with this as well that zit will not quit I like never ever break out and of course I knew I was going to be getting ready to do a video so what happens this but hopefully we can get it covered up and nobody will even know. So just so, because I want my face to dry a little bit, check this out. I got this little guy. So I'm just gonna sort of fan that so it soaks in a little bit quicker so that we can start laying down this face. We'll bring her back out later. Okay, so I cannot wait for Jeffrey to come out with foundation until he does. I am sticking with Unique, um, their liquid foundation in Organza. Now, I've had a few people comment that they really want to know what brushes that I'm using. So I'm going to try to do a really good job of making sure I'm telling you. So I'm going to be using Unique's liquid foundation brush. It does have a little hole in the center that you just put the liquid right in. So we're gonna take our dropper and just fill up that center. And then we're just gonna start tapping it along. So I will start off using this brush and then when I want to finalize the look, I sometimes use a blending bud just to make sure that everything has settled in really nice. Now, as you can see, I did go over my actual lid as well, just because I have 
so much redness to my skin tone. Let's hope that this new Bobbi Brown face base works. And I have like a really flawless finish that is not dry from all of this cold, windy Iowa air that we have going on right now. I'm so ready for spring. It was like, okay, Christmas is over. I, I don't need any more of this cold weather. So we're just gonna keep blending this in. I'm gonna go all the way down my neck. Looking a little bit puffy today. I'm doing my ears too, just because I think it looks weird when you have like your whole face on and then your ears don't match. Okay. So let me get out my Jeffree Star mirror and I'm just going to take a close up look and make sure that everything blended out really nice. This is also, also by Jeffree Star. It's with his Morphe collab. I love this set because it comes with one really big blending bud and then it comes with two small. So that's great okay so the next product we get to try is i'm super excited i didn't know what color i was so i just got jeffrey's concealers um i went with c4 and c11 because i have a rose or a red base skin tone and i'm pretty fair so let's try c4 on this side and we'll try c11 on this side and see what works best for me I don't know how quickly this is going to set up, but there's the brush. It's got this really awesome little opening, so it holds extra product. Okay, so this is C4. Ooh, this might be a little light for me. Let's tap that in and see. I mean, it is winter, but that might be a little bit too pale. I don't want to be looking like a clown. It actually blended out really, really good. Um, of course it would. It's Jeffree Star. So even though I am using Unique foundation. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. Let's try, let's try C11 on this side and see what we think. And then I'll just try to like compensate for the difference. Yeah. I think that this one is going to be more my color. So what I might do too, is I might actually next time I might just like mix the two and see what we think about that. I might go back over the other eye and just add a little bit of this to warm it up. I'm gonna go over my lid again, why not? Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I mean, I like knew when I was buying all of his products, I was like, there's no way he's gonna disappoint. It's Jeffree Star, like he's so fabulous. He has tested everything so many times. So I knew that he was going to take all the different formulas and make the best of the best. I think that that definitely helped warm up that other side. So yeah, I think what I might do next time is mix the two. Yeah. Love that. Okay, so I am gonna take a little bit more and just do right down the center of my nose and just a little bit here. And we're gonna blend that in now. I didn't know how quickly this was gonna set up. So that's why I was like, oh, I better keep moving. But so far it's been like really easy to work with. Let's see how this does. 
this has been a real problem area for me all winter long. Okay, so the next thing that I got, I'm so excited, is his translucent setting powder. Now, I did play with this the other day. It smells really good. It almost smells like cotton candy. So, we're just going to tap it in the lid here. And then I'm going to go back to the big Jeffree Star bl um, blending bud and just bake away, baby. I cannot believe how good this product smells and feels. Wow. I love that. Okay. So, on to the next. I am going to take just a little bit of the MAC Studio Fix. What color am I? I am NW20. And let's see, which brush do I want to use? Let's go in with this Morphe Jeffree Star Collab brush. And this is JS1. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this and just sort of even things out before we go on to the next step. I want everything to stay in place. I have a really long day. So like I said, this is all about Jeffree Star approved products. I'm really trying to get him to do a unique video using all unique products because I would love to see what he can do with them. Okay. I really do love this, by the way. Um, so let's go in. I do like to use Unique's Beachfront Bronzer, and I use Hermosa. And I have been using Jeffree Star's JS2 brush, his collab with Morphe for this. So we're just going to take this and be like really light handed. So I use this as a contour and bronzing all at once. I feel like it gives you really nice definition, but it doesn't give you any of those harsh lines. I do sometimes use a unique contour brush, but I found that I had to buff out so much of it just because it was so harsh. So let's just take this all the way down. Are definitely looking way better than when I started. Okay, so next, I don't know the name of this. It's just a little fan brush. I'm just going to lightly dip in there and I want to just sculpt out my nose a little bit. So just go on either side and I will blend that all in really good. Okay. So, the next thing I'm really super excited to show you guys is I got Jeffree Star's 24 karat gold highlighting. Check these out. They are beautiful. And 
platinum ice. Really pretty as well. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is, I think that I'm gonna try to take legendary down here on the bottom and almost use it, use it as a blush to give me a little bit more of a shimmer. So I'm just gonna take my unique blush brush and let's just see what happens. gives you a nice subtle glow I think that's super pretty okay so let's try this we're gonna go in with this lighter tanner shade it's called sarcophagus He said it's blinding and he wasn't lying because I actually had my MAC uh, fix spray ready to go in case I needed to add a little bit of that to it to give it a little oomph, but I don't think we need that. I mean, wow, that is intense. Okay, I'm just gonna brush just a little bit of this away, but it does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. Um, I wanna see what colors are in this Platinum Ice one. Oh my gosh, there's so many good ones. Let's go with Pink Chill. I think I'm gonna end up going with like a pink palette, so let's just see what this does. We'll just focus up here. Okay, I feel like that one's a little bit more subtle, probably better for every day. The 24 karat gold, you're definitely getting what you pay for. You're gonna get an amazing highlight with that. Okay, so next, let's go ahead and just throw on some brows here. So once again, Jeffrey does not have any brow stuff yet. I am patiently waiting for everything. So I'm gonna just go ahead and use some Kai Brow. I'm going to use a little bit of her um, gel formula that she has for the brows. And I'm just going to sweep those up. This is always like really interesting trying to do this um, one handed while I'm filming for you guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's just play around with a bunch of Kylie's stuff while we're at it. So I'm going to go ahead and this is her little brow pencil. I know that I am brown. I don't see it on here. Let me take a peek. I'm medium brown. That's what I am. So let's just take the end, this little spoolie brush one more time, even though the gel um, does a great job of bringing that up as well. We'll just do that quick. Why not try all of the products while we're at it? I'm gonna get my Jeffrey mirror going again though. So excuse me while I try to put on my brows. Now I will start with this pencil, but then I'm gonna go back in with a powder or a pomade or something. I just like this to sort of be the base. Like, hey, let's start getting some shape and some definition. You can already see the difference. Um, but I definitely like a more prominent brow. I'm gonna be 100% real with you. But you can already see. I mean, really, you could leave the house with this. Okay, this one. I cannot do with the mirror. So I'm just going to take it right in here and show you guys how I'm trying to build that brow up. Remember, your eyebrows are sisters. They are not twins. So they are going to look a little bit different. 
especially mine, when you have had microblading and it hasn't stuck and you've had it done like three times. Sorry, I was checking in my other mirror. This is like one of the hardest things is trying to do eyebrows on camera. I'm not even lying. Like, if you've never done it, try it. Okay. So, I think next I'm just going to go in with her brow powder. Love it. Medium brown. Comes with this great brush. I mix the two colors. I just tap into the pan and mix them. So, my eyebrows got a little out of control yesterday. Like, you know, it's almost like an artist brush. So, I was just going along and before I knew it, they had like taken over my whole face. I was like, oh my God, like, you need to get it together. Okay, let me go back over the other one and then I'll probably do some other touch-ups at the end when I can get a whole lot closer. So I'm just really trying to give them a really nice shape since I don't have one. I was a child of the 90s where we had like no eyebrows and I'm paying the price for it now. So I always tell my daughter who is nine, she has the most beautiful, full, thick eyebrows. I'm like, do not touch them. Just let it be. Okay. I do love Kylie's brow products. I feel like they're very user friendly. You can go back over some spots. You can use gel, pomade, pencil, powder. I mean, there are so many possibilities. Okay, but really, let's get back to why we are here. Jeffree Star. So, I thought today we would use the Mini Controversy Palette. Now... We are gonna dive right in. You can see what colors I am a fan of because I have used them so much. So I'm just gonna take, let's see, what brush is this? It's Jeffree Star Morphe Collab. It's JS4. So I'm gonna go in with Cry On My Couch just to do a base color all over. I really just want to even things out. You know what I forgot? Come on. I forgot my MAC Painterly eye primer. So we are going to do one eye with it and one eye without. And we will see what the difference is. I am telling you guys, I have so many products lined up below the camera that it is like so serious. I need like a full table to really do this at, hopefully as I move along in the process and film more videos, I will get a much better setup. This one has the painterly eye primer, this one does not. Okay, so where is my favorite brush? It should be like covered in product because I use it so much. If I can't find it, this is it. This is my best friend. <laughs> okay, so this is Jeffree Star Morphe Collab. It's JS9. So. Let's go in with this really pretty purple and just start 
filling in, making some depth in that crease. I love this palette. The colors are super, super pretty together. I'm gonna try to put like a really good link below and put all the products that I used. I'm trying to get better about that. Honestly, I've been really bad about it, I know. Okay, so I'm loving that. I'm not gonna worry about that too much because we're gonna blend it in. So next we're gonna go with My Apology. <sighs> Sorry, I had a bunch of fallout. My Apology, it's this darker color over here. And we're just gonna start warming up that outer crease and blending it in. I love these colors. Okay, let's take this Cry On My Couch again and just take it, oh, I went a little far. We're gonna blend that. May go back in with a little bit more of that color because you don't want any harsh lines. We want it really nice and bright by the brow. Yeah, we're definitely going to go back in with a little bit more color. I'm actually just going to tap the two. So it's called Controversy and My Apology. They're definitely very buildable, which I love. We'll wipe that excess off when we're all done. So now I'm gonna just take my finger and go into my boyfriend's purse. It's this silvery color and it's got a little bit of shimmer. And we're just gonna lighten up that inner corner. And take it about halfway, maybe a little bit more. And then what I'm gonna do is, let's take this Jeffree Star Morphe brush. What one is this? I'm trying to be really good about this. JS10. I'm gonna dab back into Controversy. And I'm just going to take it right along my lash line. Okay, let's find another little tiny brush. Let's try this one. This is JS6 by Jeffree Star and Morphe. Let's just take that silver and put a little pop right in the lid crease, in that edge there. I was gonna say lid crease. Okay, so I'm loving how this is coming together. Let's do a little bit of a lash and then I'll play around with some other products. So. I'm gonna use um, Unique's Moodstruck Lash Primer just to get a good base going. And then I love Benefits Lash Brush. Now I've talked about this before. 
I don't necessarily love the formula, but I love the brush, how it separates and makes the lashes longer. I'm gonna get my mirror. This is too far away, I can't see. Okay. Okay, so I just literally used that brush just to separate and make the lashes longer. So I'm gonna go in with Unique's 40 Mascara. And let's go in. Now the real key is not getting the mascara on the top of my eyelid. Yes, it happens to me like every time. I don't know how other people make it look so easy, but we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison and I'll show you guys what do you guys think. I wish that I like was live so that I could get some feedback, but I love this mascara. I think it's amazing. It's always so hard for me to do this other side, so we're gonna get in close. Okay, I'm gonna go back over that at the very end. I may even throw a fake lash on. I'm not sure yet. Um, so if you guys follow my social media, yesterday I was wearing doll parts. I absolutely love this. It would probably look fantastic with the look that I have going on today, but we got this in the mail. And I love this. It says open here for the nudes and you get all of these color choices. I am trying to decide what I want to do. There are so many decisions. Let's go in with Gemini. We'll just see what we think. I honestly have not had a chance to play with these. So this is like a real first impression here. Um, the little brush is slanted, so it'll go right along your um, lips really nice. Let me get my Jeffree Star mirror back. Let's see. It smells good. I don't know what it's, what that smell is, but I'm liking this. I think it looks nice with it. Okay, I'm gonna dip in again. What I love about these sample bundles that you can get, which I have more on the way, um, is that if you're unsure about a color, you've got so many options, and then my nine-year-old loves it because whatever I don't keep, I give to her. I'm not gonna lie, I like a little bit of an overdone lip. Uh, I've had lip filler before, but it was about a year ago, and it's gone, and I miss it. Okay, so this is our Jeffree Star look. The last product that we have to try is his Set and Refresh Mist. Now, I have to be honest with you guys, I did try it yesterday because I wanted to smell it. I wanted to see what it was like. It smells so good. I'm just gonna quick go over everything one last time with my MAC Fix Plus just because I just wanna make sure everything is blended out really well. 
especially around my eyes, soften up any harsh lines that I have, and then let's go in with this. Okay, let's give it a whirl. It smells really, really good. It smells like berries. What I love is that the mist is like the perfect amount. Sometimes you get like blasted in the face with setting sprays and you look back and you're like, oh my gosh, it like actually left a streak. It's like running down my face. So he definitely has that formula down. All right, guys. Well, I'm really happy with this look. I'm going to do some final touch-ups. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll put some links below, above, everywhere I can.